I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on reading information from the graphs. We are considering speed and time graph. From a given graph, we'll read some information. To know the basics, we should understand that acceleration is the gradient or slope of speed and time graph, and distance traveled is area under the speed time graph. Here we have two parts. Part A is find m. So in this velocity versus time graph, velocity in meters per second, time in seconds, we are given path of an object, right? Question is, find m if the total distance traveled is 315 meters. So total distance is the area, perfect. So we are given the area under this curve and the question is, find m. So basically, you have to find the height of this triangle when you know the area. So I hope the concept is clear. Perfect. You can now pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Part B is find acceleration at t equals to 5. So at t equals to 5, which is this point, you have to find the acceleration. Correct. So you can always pause this video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so let's begin with part A, where we have to find total distance. So total distance, as you know, is area under the curve. This is a triangle, so the area under the curve is half of base times height. So that will give us the height, correct? But we are given the distance, which is 315 meters. So we'll use this. And as far as the base is concerned, so this is 7. So it is 7 seconds from 0 to 7. So this is 7 seconds is the units. As far as height is concerned, it is m. Uh, and it is in meters per second. Okay. So now from here, m will be what? Let's take care of the units, this to cancel. And so uh, what we have, the units match, correct, perfectly fine. And from here, we can find what M is. So M will be equal to, let's cross multiply. So it will be 2 times 315 over 7, right? So that should be the value of m. Correct? So now, uh, dividing by 7, uh, 7 times, let's do this, or you could just multiply and then divide, either way. So let's divide first by 7. 7 times 4 is 28, and then we have uh, 28, and we have 35. So 35 goes 5 times. So from here, we get m as equal to 90. So we use the unit meters per second. So that has to be, that is correct, right? So we get this value as 90. So we know the m value here is 90. So that is part A. So we get m equals to 90 meters per second. Clear? Now we need to find acceleration at this point. That is part B. Acceleration at this point will be rate of change, right? So at this point, rate of change will be what? T equals to 5. So we can consider these two points. So if we consider these two points, then change in this value, which is y value, is rate of change of velocity over rate of change of time. The velocity goes from 0 to 90, so the rate of change is 0 to 90. However, it actually comes down, do you see, 90 to 0. So it should be negative, right, since it is actually decreasing from 90 to 0. And as far as time is concerned, it increases from 0 to 7, so it is 7. So that becomes the acceleration. It is negative. Units will be meters per second squared, right? So which is equal to dividing by 7, we get negative. 7 times 1, 20. So 7 times 6, uh, sorry, 7 times 2 is 14. Just a minute. So minus 
7 times 1 and 7 times 2 is 14 then there is 63 so times 8 will be 50 and 7 times 7 meters per second square right which you could approximate to minus 12.9 meters per second square is it clear so that is how you could find acceleration at a point in the given graph so i hope that helps feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great